on, of course, that will be between Eshaldon Trading Company on red and Adequately Prepared on blue here on Battle of the Dunes. Battle of the Dunes, of course, is a dusty duny map with nowhere really to hide. I mean, a, 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 outside of a couple places. Uh, but, of course, you have wide open maps. This is the penultimate. This is the ult. I shouldn't say penultimate because that's not true. It is the ultimate sniping map. If you like sniping, this is your type of map. Uh, of course, we do have that mobula, that close range mobula with that aggressive squid coming into play. So, uh, adequately prepared, having absolutely no interest in going uh, sniping here. As we do the ship call out, ship number one is the Moonlight Moth. It is piloted by Mirwin. We have an Artemis front and mirrored Gat Banshees on the sides. Ship number two is the GFA fall, uh, Failing Flounder. It is piloted by Captain Scrobeard. It is a Meta Mobula, uh, excuse me, it is a Hades up top, double Artemis bottom, Gatling, and a flare on the wings. Ship number three is the Who Needs a Map, piloted by Steam Brains. We have a Mobula with a Gatling up top, and we have two Flax on the bottom, and we have two Banshees on the wings. And ship number four is the Bee Squiddy, piloted by Bio Warfare, a Gatling on the front, a Banshee on the side, and a Carinade on the back. As we take a quick look at the map here, and we see that both teams are headed for the, uh, for the Leviathan here. Of course, this Leviathan right here, it is the wreckage of a big, massive ship, which... Hopefully someday we will have in Guns of Icarus. Maybe someday. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. Who knows? Uh, but apparently not today. Maybe tomorrow, right? As uh, teams are currently jockeying for position around the, uh, around the Leviathan. And, uh, <laughs> oh, there's Stefan. Good to see everybody here. Outstanding. Got a lot of people in Twitch chat right now. Uh, we've got a bit of a late filing in crowd. That's okay. That's okay. You've missed nothing so far, folks, as teams are simply jockeying for position on the map. They're waiting to see exactly how things are going to play out as Blue content to hide on the west end of the uh, west end of the uh, Leviathan. Oh, wait a minute. Who Needs Map just got spotted. Looks like that, uh, that flank is now busted. Uh, however, they're just outside of some of those uh, gun ranges. Uh, the Hades, of course, well in range, but they are missing. Yeah, that's a tough range to hit with the uh, with the Hades. Not impossible. They're about a thousand out. A thousand is definitely within range of the Hades. Oh, there's a dust storm. Let's get away from that dust storm, shall we? Let's in fact back it up the truck right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a wide angle shot as shots are going out from the GFA falling flounder, at, failing flounder as the B Squiddy moving up here. B Squiddy is looking for their approach angle. Looks like they're going to go in between. Or are they going to go around? No, they're going to go around. Oh, they're going the other way. Here we go, folks. They're going around. Oh, but their flank is busted. They got spotted here. B Squiddy got spotted as the GFA Flying Flounder turns for him. The Moonlight Moth turns for him. Here we go, folks. First engagement of SCS number 149. B Squiddy has been hole broken. They lost 50% of their perm hole very quickly. Banshee's going out. Uh, B Squiddy is in trouble here. This is not good. This is not good at all. They will probably go down here. In fact, they do. 1-0 in favor of red. And uh, who needs a map? Also in trouble. Uh, they're caught in 1v2, and they are caught in the red spawn. This is not a good spot for them. This is not a good spot at all. Uh, yeah, they're moving in. That Gatling, of course, is reigning true. However, they really need to get a quick kill. They need to get a quick kill. Uh, uh, uh oh That's not going to happen. I think that's going to be 2-0 very shortly. That should be 2-0 very shortly. Except they are pushing the Failing Flounder back. They might actually get a cheap hold break here. They might have something. They do get the cheap hold break. They're going to get some perma. If you go to... Oh, wait, no, other way around. That's right. Who Needs a Map is the one that needs to be taken at that uh, hole on, off the failing, failing Flounder. Speaking of failing... <laughs> uh, yes, the Who Needs a Map about to go down. Yes, they go down. Yes, unfortunately, as expected, they take no perma hole off of the Failing Flounder. It is 2-0 in favor of red. Um, that's what happens when, you're, when your uh, squid gets busted on the flank. Uh, yeah, bad things happen. Very bad things happen. Very, very bad things happen. Oh, my goodness. That's okay for Blue, because it's early in the matchup. Red with first blood. Uh, Blue can still come back very easily. This is not a lost cause. Blue, of course, just simply needs to get their flank a little bit better timed. That's all. Um, it, it's a decent idea what they did, but they just, they need to, maybe if B-Squiddy maybe starts balloon blocking a little bit more, they probably went in a little bit too high. Granted, they need to be high as the squid. Uh, but a balloon block might have been a little more advantageous than Hydro into the engagement, especially since Red is at, at max height, I believe, or cl very close to it. 
uh, a Hydro into the engagement might have been a smarter option there, as uh, Biowarfare does indeed have Hydrogen, so that could come into play. I wonder if they'll do that here in this next engagement. Balloon blocking may be a smart play here. Going extra low and then Hydroing up. Who Needs a Map, however, appears to be the one that's going to be the bait here. Looks like uh, Who Needs a Map is moving up through the cloud cover. And Spot's going out. They should be going out on blue any second as well. Looks like Who Needs a Map will actually be... Uh-oh, here comes the split push again. Here we go, as Who Needs a Map just daring the shots to come out on him. And here comes Squid. Squid moving in. A Hydro from the Who Needs a Map. Yes, that is a Hydro from the Who Needs a Map. They're going to tap that Hydro B. Squiddy moving in. Who Needs a Map now getting lit up here by both red ships. The concentrated focus of red getting the whole break on the Who Needs a Map. Now Squid moving in on the fa Falling Flounder. However, they do not get the back. They get the side of the fa of fla Failing Flounder. I keep wanting to call him the Flailing Flounder. I don't know why. But the B-Squid has been whole broken. B-Squiddy has been whole broken. Who Needs a Map pushing in on the Failing Flounder. B-Squiddy has the front of the Flounder. Problem with that plan, though. They still are on the front end of the Failing Flounder. They need to get on the back of the side. They are not able to do so. They have just been unable to get on the back of the Failing Flounder. Moonlight Moth, how are... Oh, the tar from the Mobula! Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, savagery. And the kill to follow up. 3-0 in favor of red. This should be 4-0 any second. That hole break should be imminent. There's the hole break. There's the balloon break. And there's the ship break right there. 4-0 in favor of red. This, this could, unfortunately, be academic. As the... Uh, Failing Flounder deciding to play in its own tar. Uh, I guess this, this may be doing uh, donuts in its own tar or something like that. I'm not sure. We're not turning in the tar, though, so who knows? Not sure what that plan was all about, but that's okay. That tar was super effective against uh, the Bee Squiddy. Oh, man. The one thing I've noticed, though, is that it, everybody expects tar on the squid. but very and, and a lot of people expect tar on, like, say, a Junker right here. A lot of people do. Very few people I've noticed in, in pubs and things like that expect tar coming from the Mobula, and it can be very effective, as you see here in uh, SCS number 149, of course, popping the balloon of the squid so that they have absolutely nowhere to go except down and dead. Uh, Mobulus tars can be very, very effective when done right. Of course, the downside of that plan is you also have to lose something that could also be effective, such as say, either your Claw or your Hydrogen. So depending on what you're doing, let's say, of course, you want to go with a... Uh, with a bill. Well, obviously, Mobulus have the best balloon in the game. They obviously do. Um, so you could probably get rid of a Hydrogen or something like that to bring that tar, uh, especially these days where that balloon is even more and more... Uh, or at least the, um, the uh, lift from it, the acceleration, is not as good as it used to be. And apparently... Uh, some suggestions in Twitch chat. Apparently he wanted a taste of his own tar. I guess he wanted to get a, a whiff of his own vaping right there. Uh, something like that. Uh, to Rebel gi giving, me, uh, giving me some encouragement in, in my uh, failing of calling the Failing Flounder the Failing Flounder. Instead of calling them the Flailing Flounder because apparently it's hard to, f it's hard to fail when you're up 4-0 at a match. This is very true. It is very hard to fail when you're up 4-0. Uh, let's see. Let's take a quick peek here and see what Blue is doing. Blue is trying to use the ribs this time. They've decided that the uh, they've decided that the Leviathan is not a good approach. However, one small problem with that plan um, that might actually still be their best approach in this situation, considering their builds. They may be forced into the Leviathan to get any sort of kills going. That's going to be a long run over. That's a long run over to Red right there. Ah, uh, if I'm blue, I don't know if I like this plan. I don't know if I like this plan. Blue is moving up. B-Squiddy spotted, of course. They're not going to get a flank, and they're going to get pounded on the way in. They, Red only needs one kill to win. Of course, they do have this cover over here, so they could use this, uh, they could use that uh, broken fan right there to work with something. The problem is that they are completely spotted, and they could get flushed out from that spot very easily. They do, however, have a very vertical um, maneuverable ship in the Mobula. They do have a very horizontal uh, um, uh, mobile ship in the Squid. Squid, of course, a very mobile ship. But they need to get that Mobula in the door. They need to get him in. Right now, he's moving very slowly. 
and he's getting lit up, but he's not taking any permahole damage just yet. So, so far, so good. This is part one of Blue's plan. Looks like they may try to go for... Oh, they're going to try to go for a quick push. If you're red, do you, do you just wait for him here, or do you pull back? Let's see what Red's going to do here. Let's see how Red reacts. Red, not even bl budging, not even blinking. There are no eyes on these ships. They are not blinking. Blue, however, has their position. Red showing no fear. Red putting out a couple warning shots. B Squiddy deciding to go out the other end. Yes, they are. They're deciding to go out the other end. They're deciding now's the time. Oh, what is B Squiddy doing? Are they going for the other cover? They are indeed going for the other cover here. Oh, but they hit the uh, they hit the environment. Oh, that's not good. This could be a mistake. This could be a mistake. They're moving them up one by one. Oh, they do get the cover though. They do get the cover. They do get the cover. Oh, look at this advantageous storm coming in too. This could be the play they were looking for right here. This could be the play they're looking for. They're moving the who needs a map up. However, they are still spotted. Who needs a map looking for that uh, cloud cover? Looks like they're going to make their move right now as the whole break goes out. That might have been a little early by the Mobula. That might have been a little bit early, but it looks like they'll they'll go ahead and make the play happen right now. Looks like they'll just go ahead and make that happen right now. Who needs a map? Hole broken once again. Nope, they actually just get it back up right now as the B Squiddy finally moving in. Who needs a map? Uh, they are still not able to really do anything here. B Squiddy trying to get a ram on the Moonlight Moth to try to uh, break their concentration. They do get that, but they break their own hole in the process. B Squiddy trying to get on. Who are they going for? Are they going for the Moonlight Moth? Looks like they are. Who needs a map? Hole broken. They're hole broken. They should go down here. One more Artemis. There it goes. Red wins. Clean sweep. 5 0. That's about as clean as you can get for an opening round engagement. Uh, very quick win for Red. As uh, nice and tidy, I believe my unofficial time was about 8 minutes on that one. So, well done by Red. Red, Red of course, is the Eshaldon Trading Company with a nice, quick, clean, and efficient 5-0 win.